you are about to see one of the most beautiful places on the earth. Welcome to Cappadocia. This doesn't look like the pictures I've seen on Instagram. Where are all the balloons? <laughs> Welcome to Cappadocia, guys. Beautiful region here in Central Asia. I mean, Central Turkey. Look at these beautiful rocks. Kind of reminds me of Utah, to be honest. I, I like the vibe so far. It's a beautiful cloudy day. Let me show you around what we can see in the area. And let's see what the hype is all about. Join me. Now, let's see what's inside of these caves. <sighs> oh, man. There's the cross. Oh my god. <laughs> Tombs. This was a cemetery of sorts. Or a church or a catacomb. Look at all these symbols. All these Christian symbols. <sighs> wow. It's a whole church, right carved into the middle of the rock. Byzantine Christians of the 5th century found these caves to be the perfect hiding spot. You can find dozens of churches scattered all across Goreme, and some of them, such as the Dark Church, have frescoes which have been preserved incredibly well. And there are more entrances up there. I wish I could go up and climb there because that looks really interesting as well. And incredible nature. I mean, beautiful hikes. I just love how many caves there are. Just, I love spotting all the little cave churches that are hidden behind a rock or something. It's incredible. You can even hire a horse to ride to take you through the valley. Look at all the souvenirs you can get here. The whirling dervishes and some horses and of course Cappadocia and whatever these are. <laughs> and balloons. So many balloons. There's probably none in the sky because it's a bit windy. Millions of years of erosion have shaped the volcanic rocks of Cappadocia into the most whimsical of shapes. These are called the fairy chimneys. in Eastern Turkey for so long, it's so strange to be back with international tourists. It's quite lovely. And it's probably gonna rain very soon. These are called open air museums. They just call them that so they can charge you something to go in. <laughs> but incredibly impressive. I mean, just so many caves literally everywhere. There's also a monastery right there. As you can see, this was quite a thriving community. Apparently back in the 11th century, in Byzantine times, so these were Byzantine Christian communities. Huge pilgrimage sites, man. It was just full of life. Just imagine all the people running around when this was being inhabited and living and coming to pray in the monastery and wow. gonna try to reach the valley of love before the sun sets well it already set before it gets dark <laughs> I did not take any taxis today or buses so I've been walking literally all day but I just needed a hike you know sometimes you just need to go out in nature and and tire yourself out well this was the day beautiful experience We did make it. Welcome to the Valley of Love. <laughs> Why is it called the Valley of Love? Uh, it might have something to do with the shape of the rocks. Very tall rocks, very phallic. And this is actually the first time I see camels in Turkey. Uh, totally not being exploited, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's go down to the valley and see these 
totally not sus shaped rocks. You can take a photo with the heart. There's a lot of these decorations which are, which are called evil eye. It's like an amulet to protect yourself against the evil eye. It's uh, like a superstition in the Islamic world. I don't think there's a way to get down here from this side so I'm just gonna have to appreciate the dicks from a distance because it's getting dark you can't have it all in life we're gonna hit the underground city tomorrow so catch me up there we finally made it to our resting place for tonight our beautiful five-star suit <laughs> this is what you get for seven dollars <laughs> well see you tomorrow sleep tight and let's see what we find today. Check this out. You're ready for the underground city. Today I have a friend with me, Giselle. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Hello, YouTuber here uh, from Cairo. Uh, yeah, in we both Cairo. met in Cairo. Yeah. Crazy to see you out on the How's life in Cairo? Uh, hot. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, we're going to be exploring the underground city and checking out the history. So join me. You might be wondering, why is there an entire underground city in Turkey? Well, these cave systems were created by the Byzantine Christian communities of Anatolia to protect themselves against Arab raiders from the east. These cave systems were stocked with enough provisions to last a few months and could house thousands of people, including some of their livestock. They even had schools for the children. Christians continued to hide in these caves up until the massacres of 1917, when the Ottoman Empire expelled most of the Christian population from the region. This section is the stall where they kept animals. Actually, it wasn't just people, it was animals chilling here. And because of course the raiders that came here would take the animals, so you, don't, you do not want to lose your animals. That meant certain death. You have to be very careful with your head or you're gonna smash yourself. This really, really goes deep. Uh, I believe 80 meters underground. <laughs> People, how, how it was built, I'm not sure. This is very soft rock, so it was very easy to carve into. But still, this required so much work. This underground city could hold 20,000 people. Imagine the sheer panic when an invading army came, either the Arabs or the Turks. And they would come and the people would be hiding here, scared for their lives to not be discovered. You really have to crouch for this. It's, moment, it's moments like this where I'm going for super short. <laughs> this is actually a winery. I guess the Christians could not keep from having wine while they were being invaded. So you got a huge ass winery here. We found a secret tunnel. You can't even see anything. Should we go in? Yes, the answer is always yes. Oh, let me see what's here. Can you fit? Yeah. <laughs> Are you claustrophobic? I'm not, but I, I'm not loving the look of that. I'm going to let you go ahead and tell me what you see. Okay. That was a long way. Wow. Uh, yeah. There is a whole other room which no one comes to. I'm sorry, guys. I mean, the filming is pretty crap, but... Wow. Incredible. Oh my, it keeps going. This thing keeps going. But I'm a little scared now. <laughs> So what did you think of the underground ruins? Oh man, <laughs> amazing. Especially that last pit though, you know, the secret room. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of people, but very, very awesome. A lot of work for the lungs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta keep those lungs up because it's a lot of walking. <laughs> Beautiful place. You gotta come check it out. Uh, what's the place called? Uh, we, this city? You know, oh, Derinkuyu. Derinkuyu. It's okay. Derinkuyu Underground City. This behind me is Uchugar Castle. Not really a castle, more like a gigantic rock which has been carved into. 
it almost looks like something out of a storybook like a, out of a fairy tale it's beautiful We are in the highest point in the region and it looks unbelievable. You can see all the way to Goreme and those weird shaped rocks we saw at the beginning, the Pink Valley and all of the region of Cappadocia. My uncle coming with a full blown suit behind me. <laughs> he climbed all the way over here with a suit. <laughs> and anyways, when you're in Cappadocia, don't miss this castle. The view is incredible. All right, guys, this was Cappadocia. We'll see you later. Be sure to check out Giselle's channel. It's super cool. Uh, G Ventures. G Ventures. <laughs> adventures through Cairo mostly, but now Turkey. Yeah, true. All right, <laughs> catch me on the next adventure in the great Turkish road trip. See you next time. I was getting a little sad since I knew Cappadocia was famous for its balloons. That's all you see when you open up Instagram. But I hadn't seen a single one during my stay. It seemed I would have to return again to see them. But on the morning right before leaving Goreme, I got lucky. Look at all these bad boys flying in the air. It's like Albuquerque all over again. Beautiful thing to see. Actually, the balloons couldn't be up the last couple of days, but I got to see them my last day. So lucky me. I hope you enjoyed Cappadocia as much as I did and I hope to see you on the next episode where we visit the beautiful beaches of southern Turkey, Antalya and Fethiye. See you next time.